Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in case we haven't met yet, I'm Heath. I am a Riso Hudson certified Enneagram teacher and I am the author of Becoming Your True You. And today we're going to talk about the difference between types four and nine. So some people might think, well, wow, those types are really different. How can people confuse them? But it does happen. And so that's what we're going to look at, how they're similar and how they're different. So one way that nines and fours are similar is that they are both withdrawn types. They tend to um, withdraw from the world in order to get their needs met. And their inner world is really important to them. But there's an important distinction between the fours and nines. For nines, they go to a secret garden, it's called, where they have gathered all of their most lovely and peaceful and united memories and ideas and fantasies, and they just go and dwell in that place and live in, in their happy land. And for fours, they withdraw into their inner world where they are pulling up intense memories from the, the well of their memories. And they can be either intensely positive or negative. And the desire there is to really stir up something that they can feel because it feels like who they are. So that's one way that they have a similarity, but that also when you look down really at the core motivations, they're quite different. Another thing that might confuse people between fours and nines, or that a four or nine might get confused and think that they're the other type, is that they tend to be soft-spoken. Now, this isn't always the case every time, but a lot of times you will notice that these two types tend to be a bit quieter. They're, they speak, they're willing to talk, of course, but they're not loud, uh, boisterous types. So for nines, the reason they speak this way is because they just want to keep the peace. They sort of want to set the thermostat for calmness and unity and everyone getting along. And so they're not going to make waves. They're going to just speak as calmly and quietly and peacefully as they can. And for fours, if they're, if they're quiet or they're more soft-spoken, it's because they're really thinking deeply they're right next to the five right not right next to that head type so they're going to be doing a lot of, of feeling and thinking together and this causes them to pause and reflect before they say anything because one thing that's very important to fours is that they're understood and that they are being authentic to what they're actually feeling and thinking and experiencing so another thing that can be challenging in distinguishing these two is that nines have the tendency to merge, right? They uh, have a what's called a permeable boundary. So it's hard for them sometimes to distinguish what they're experiencing versus what's happening coming to them from the outside. So they can more easily merge with other people. So if they've ever merged with a type four, they can get so involved in, in what that person is going through and experiencing that they can mistake their own selves for a type four. So having said all of those things that, that are similar, there are also three key differentiators. And in order to get those, I'm going to send you to my blog post on this topic and you'll find that in the description below. That's because it takes a bit of more explaining and it's easier to do that on paper than it is on a video. So I hope that you'll go and take a look at that and get a fuller picture of how fours and nines are both similar and dissimilar and how to differentiate between the two if you're having any trouble doing that. All right, so I hope that this was useful. Please feel free to share your thoughts below or um, comment after you read the blog post on the blog. And if you found this uh, useful, I hope that you will hit the like button. You're free to hit the dislike as well, but if you do, I hope you'll leave a comment and explain why so that I can make these videos better for everybody. And if you would like to subscribe, that would be fantastic as well. And until next time, blessings on your journey.